Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys this. Now, this is the uh, Lifeguard 2 uh, pass device, and um, these are what we use uh, in the fire service. Um, this one is an older, an older model uh, from 1988 specifically. It's made by the Antenna Specialist Co. Uh, Co. in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, I'll let you see the back here. It's got um, this is where the the main electronics are stored, and you need a uh, special tool to get that off. And it also says. Uh, do, do not remove uh, remove all of this panel by other than factory authorized technician will avoid or will avoid warranty um, so that means pretty much if you had to do something to it make sure that it's uh, someone qualified to though, though I'm not sure if uh, the, the warranty still holds up for these things given how, how old they are and then it pretty much just tells you to uh, remember to uh, replace the 9 volt battery whenever um, it's low and you've got uh, four star uh, screws there. And then on the bottom here you can see a tag that says complies with uh, requirements of the NFPA standard number 1982 personal alert safety system. So that's what PASS stands for. Um, pretty much the NFPA um, guides everything that we do in the fire service. They uh, set standards on our equipment, um, stuff like this. Um, so apparently this is up to code as of NFPA 1982, though I'm sure it's changed a lot since then. Um, you'll see it's got holes on the front to let the sound out. You can see the main knobs here. It uh, has off, on, and arm. And then here's your belt clip. On a lot of the times, these things are either broken or missing, so it's really nice to see that this one is still attached. Now this one, um, because uh, a lot of Ghostbusters fans really like these because in Ghostbusters 2 they actually wore them on their belt. I think it was on the right side about here and they used them as past devices too. Um, uh, these first came out in 1988 and uh, the movie Ghostbusters 2 came out in I want to say 89. So um, that would have been around the same time as these things being used. Now the only uh, fire department markings on this one is just 18 on both sides. Some will be marked with um, CVFD or uh, LAFD, um, NYFD, just stuff like that. A, a lot of Ghostbusters fans actually grind that stuff off. Guys, don't do that. That's just, I mean, I know you want to make it screen accurate, but that's just the, the original fire department's markings. Anything with the VFD stands for Volunteer Fire Department, and then if it doesn't have VFD, then it probably wasn't a Volunteer Fire Department. Um, but anyways guys, so I'll fire this thing up for you guys. It is extremely loud. So here's with it on. I'll uh, hold it against my body to sort of muffle the noise because it's so loud. So that's how loud it is. And then we'll arm it. Now it usually just makes a ticking noise and it won't, um, it won't actually go. So I don't know if something's wrong with it. But we'll just let it sit still and see if it goes off. So the purpose of a pass alarm is that if a firefighter is wearing this thing and it doesn't detect movement, so assuming that the firefighter isn't moving, then an uh, alarm will go off, um, letting the other firefighters know around them that somebody's incapacitated. Um, and the dangerous thing about these things is that though it's, see, there we go, and then it'll get louder too. So that is the Lifeguard 2 pass device. Now like I said, this thing is worn separately. Um, nowadays we have them hooked up to our SCBA, or self-contained breathing apparatus. So this thing will actually turn on the minute we start to flow air. Um, what could, what happens with these things, uh, them being their own uh, separation from the breathing apparatus is that, let's say a firefighter drops this inside a structure fire, the pass device isn't going to know that the firefighter isn't wearing it and it's just going to go off. So everyone, all the firefighters or whoever's around is going to think that a fireman is trapped inside when there really is just a pass device. So it, it becomes a false sense of security, but nowadays we really don't have that issue. Um, but that's just 
information about the past device itself. Um, another interesting fact about these things, or about the fire service in general, is that um, you won't see the words "keep back 343 feet" on the back of any fire trucks until after 9/11. Do you know why? If so, leave it in the comments below. So guys, that wraps it up for this uh, review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, this is the Lifeguard 2 Pass device. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, go ahead and let me know. They're kind of expensive nowadays. You can get 3D printed models. Um, but yeah guys, so that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, have a nice day.